A Fort Wayne police officer is facing a lawsuit. A 17-year-old and his mother say the officer used excessive force when he shot the teen in the back last month. News Channel 15's Kelly Roberts spoke with the boy's mother and lawyer, and she joins us now in the newsroom with what the family wants. Kelly? In the lawsuit, the 17-year-old identified as J.D. and his mother, Gina Dodson, are asking for significant damages, but didn't specify how much. Dodson says she wants to send a message that no one is above the law. A lawsuit filed in U.S. District Court shed some light on what may have happened on June 21st on the city's southeast side, an incident that ended with a 17-year-old getting shot by Officer Robert Hollow. In the lawsuit, it says that teen, J.D., was with a 15-year-old friend when they saw Hollow in an unmarked car. When they got closer, Officer Hollow drove aggressively towards them. They got scared. They started running away. The officer got out, told them to stop. They kept running, and he fired four shots at J.D., hitting him once. One month later, J.D. and his mother, Gina Dodson, are suing Officer Hollow. They say he violated J.D.'s Fourth Amendment rights by showing excessive force. He could have killed him. You know, he, these, these are human beings. I mean, you can't just shoot people down like they're animals. And to use a gun, a bullet, to stop somebody who is running away, who is unarmed, even if the officer had thought that he was armed, and he's running away, he can't shoot him in the back. He's presenting no present threat to the officer. According to the lawsuit, J.D. was not armed during the chase. A day after the incident, Police Chief Gary Hamilton said Officer Hollow thought the teen was armed. Dotson and lawyer Richard Waple say J.D. still has the bullet lodged in his lower back. Uh, it's caused some nerve damage. Uh, he still has tingling in his leg, some numbness in his leg. Fort Wayne PD and City Attorney Kara Helton are not commenting on the lawsuit or investigation. Although he was at the news conference today, J.D. declined to speak. In a few months, Officer Hollow may not be the only one named in this lawsuit. I'll explain that coming up at 6. Live in the newsroom, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.